Photosynthesis can be divided into two stages. These are the light dependent stage and the light independent stage. What does that actually mean? Light dependent stage needs light. Light independent stage does not need light. But what for? Well basically it needs light to split water in half. It then uses the bits. What's made if you break up water? H plus and electrons and oxygen to charge up energy carrying molecules. So this is the key events in the light dependent stage. We make up energy carrying molecules. Now the energy carrying molecules are then used to build our food. Now the food that plants are going to make is called glucose. Energy carrying molecules provide energy. What? Energy carrying molecules provide energy? Makes sense. To join water and carbon dioxide to make a three carbon molecule. And lastly, two, three carbon molecules are joined to make a glucose molecule. It's a sugar. So the plant is making sugar to be used. Now that, I'm sorry to say, is boring and wordy. You could actually do the same thing with pictures. We have got a badly drawn picture. The sun shines on the green stuff. The green stuff in the plant is called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is one of the most scarily reactive substances we know. Water, when it hits chlorophyll that's got the sun on it, breaks it in half. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. We get two hydrogen plus ions. We get electrons broken off. And we get an oxygen atom, which is often written as half an O2, because two oxygen atoms will always join together to make an oxygen molecule. So the first part of photosynthesis, we need light. We have the sun, so it's called light dependent. These bits are used through lots of horrible, ugly, you don't need to know them chemical reactions to charge up energy carrying molecules. That's it. That's what happens when the sun shines. End product energy carrying molecules. And some oxygen, the stuff that we need to stay alive. The energy carrying molecules are then used. This is called light independent now. So this can happen at night. Could it happen during the day? Yeah, it's not called the dark stage. It was when I was young, but I'm an old person. So it's called light independent stage. So it can happen with or without light, who cares? Energy carriers are used to join together some stuff. We bring in some H2O. We bring in some carbon dioxide. We use our energy carrying molecules, lots of enzymes, etc. And it joins it all together to make a three carbon molecule. And finally, two three carbon molecules, there's one, here's some other random three carbon molecule joined together to make glucose, which is exactly what a plant needs. People go, well, why do you need to make the three carbon molecule? Think Lego. When you make something big and complicated, you make it a small piece at a time and you join the pieces together. And it's exactly the same when we make glucose. I thought the main food substance in a plant was starch. And it is. Lots of different glucose molecules are then joined together. Lots of glucoses from lots of different reactions. 2,000 or more glucose are joined together to make starch. So all the time it's little jobs, little bits joined together. But these are the two processes that make up photosynthesis. The one question I have is why do we need the light independent stage before we need the light dependent stage? The answer is the energy carrying molecules. These are used to make glucose. Before you can make glucose you actually have to use them, you have to create them. So first step, we're really creating energy molecules. So in the second step, where well, you don't even need to have light, you can use them to make your glucose, which can then be converted later on to starch or anything else that the plant needs.